guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do some coding in Notepad. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make something a little bit like this. Um, so what it is, is I was out to make something like, kind of like Siri, but it doesn't talk to you because it's in a command prompt. So this is what I did. So I said, hello, I am Jacob. I'm an artificial intelligence program. And if it, uh, enter then it sends you to Google because like this is where you type your questions you know what I mean so um, if I go back to my uh, so and then it changes the words here like this which I skipped when I first showed you but uh, we're gonna be teaching you guys how to do that today so what you're gonna want to do is go ahead and go open notepad and then start by typing at echo off. Um, so next, what we're going to do, and I'm just going to bring up my uh, old program, just so I'm not like messing things up in the video, like if you saw my last video I did. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. Where the heck did that go? Oh, right here. So, oh my gosh computer not cooperating um yeah okay that's what I thought so you're gonna create a class which is when you do this and then if you type uh, whatever you type under this is that class so if you ever want to come back to that class after you've typed pause at the end of it to complete it then you type go to uh, this menu and it can't have a space between go and to so the menu is gonna be CLS and then whatever you want to type, you can also make it color. So, like, um, I'll put the the uh, color, like the color codes, in the description. So, like, if I did, I think zero A is a black background and green letters. So, if I wanted to do like zero A B C D E F, I think it goes up to D. I'm not sure, I don't know, let's just do 0E. And then, say what you want, so echo, I am Intel, <clears throat> dang it, my voice, Intel Agent. And then you can type pause, CLS, and that should clear that. And then also after you've done that, type go to, and then whatever you want to call your next class, which is going to be the one that will actually take you to uh, Google. So I'm just going to name it uh, Google, because, yeah. <laughs> and then you're going to type the two dots like this, and then the class name, like that. And then type what you want it to say, so echo, hit enter, then type your, <clears throat> That's a lot. I'm losing my voice guys, your question in the search bar, just being sure I spelled everything right, yeah it looks like it. Okay, so now it's going to be pause. Uh, be sure when you type pause that you have the, um, I don't know what it's called, but when you don't hit shift to get the double dots, the one under that. And then enter, start, Chrome. Or you can do start Safari if that's what's on your computer. And then if you want it to go to a specified website for... Um, anything else like if you weren't doing artificial intelligence or whatever Siri whatever whatever you want to call it then you can type that website so like start Chrome YouTube or start Safari YouTube or you can just do start www.youtube.com or whatever website you have but if you're not gonna type Chrome or Safari or any of the um, like search engines then you're going to have to type like www and everything like that but if you just do chrome or whatever you're using then you can type youtube if i can spell it right geez i'm just hitting buttons now you can type youtube.com so 
we just want it to start Chrome just like this and you don't have to put a pause after this because it's going to be closing anyway so technically you could put an exit there but if you are going to make it even more complicated do a pause and then exit because I mean but you don't really need to do that so just leave it at this and then you can save it I'm just gonna save it to my desktop for purposes also last video if you did see that uh, I didn't emphasize very much that you had to type dot bat at the end otherwise it won't save as a batch file and it won't work so what you have to do is just name it so um, chrome open dot bat and you have to have this bat right here otherwise dot bat otherwise it won't work so um, I'm just going to close these two things. And Chrome open BAT. Oh, that's yellow. That looks really cool. Anyway, I am intelligent. Hit enter, then type your question in the search bar. So now it will open Chrome. And the uh, command prompt closes. So there you go, guys. That's how to make a like kind of cheated out artificial intelligence. If you guys like this video, give it a like and a comment and maybe even subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.